And there it is, high over the Pacific, America's new ticket to ride to the moon and beyond now in view. These are the final moments of a 1.4 million mile journey around the moon. Time to splash down 90 seconds. The Orion capsules return to Earth after exploring the depths of space. Splashing down in the Pacific Ocean. Splash down. This is a spacecraft that went further than any design to carry humans has gone before. The latest chapter of NASA's journey to the moon comes to a close. And it set the stage for the return of humanity to the moon and future missions to the red planet. For NASA, it's mission success. I'm overwhelmed. Uh, this is uh, an extraordinary day. We are adventurers. We are explorers. We always have a frontier. And that frontier is now to continue exploring the heavens. Three, two, one. Lift off of Artemis One. It was only 26 days ago that the Orion capsule, atop its 100 meter tall rocket, launched on its record breaking mission. But in that time, it has shown a glimpse of what the Artemis missions could achieve and sent images to Earth that give us a new perspective on space. In this sped up video, Earth is seen as a crescent in the distance, appearing beyond the lunar surface. It's known to scientists as an Earthrise. And this is the view nearly 270,000 miles from our planet. All 8 billion of us captured by the capsule's camera. This is Mission Control Houston, 26 minutes after uh, the return of Orion. This was an uncrewed flight, but in 2025, it is hoped the Artemis program will allow astronauts to take the first steps on the lunar surface in 50 years. In order to set the stage for the next uh, mission when a crew will be on board. If that is a success, NASA has its sights set on a mission to Mars. Fred Dimbleby, ITV News, in the United States.